Okay, so taking a step up from our intermediate bat, where, where do we get to next? Well, we've got the same blade, which is a Timo ball all round blade, but the rubber has changed now. Shriver, which is one of the most famous rubbers. Uh, it's the rubber I first started playing with, and it's um, a little bit more lively than the, the last bat we showed you. So that you see the bounce on the ball. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more lively, and you can produce a lot more with this bat in terms right. of shot development and, and spin on the ball. So, if, so if, a play, if players keen to try and progress the game quickly, is there a downside of them moving up to a bat like this too soon? I think there is because if you go on a, a fast bat too soon then your shots are going to be compromised because you want to keep that ball on the table. Mm -hmm. It's fast, it's lively, so your shot technique is going to be compromised when you're trying to develop. Right, so move on up through the stages of bat as you perfect your game, improve your skills, then you can move on to the next bat. Up. I think so because if you jump and go for the fast one too quick and you haven't you know, gone through the, the range of, of development you should do with every, every bat. And the, the step up to the Shriver rubber then, that's basically just the level of response you get. Yeah, it's a very spinny rubber, as I can demonstrate to you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very spinny, it's very reactive, and you can get a lot of spin and, and um, a lot of you know dimension add, add dimensions yeah. to your game. Okay, that's great. Super. For more table tennis coaching with Ryan Jenkins, please visit homeleisuredirect.com/tv.